There are plenty of ways buildings and infrastructure can get destroyed, from natural disasters to bombing. And while controlled demolition might have some similarities like explosions and collapsing it's a far different beast. It is, after all, controlled. That doesn't mean it's any less spectacular though. There's something wonderfully ironic about controlled demolition. Experts use inherently dangerous explosives, but use them to actually bring down buildings as safe as possible. Charges are placed strategically, detonation cord is strung up, timing is set just so, all to make sure the building implodes in just the right way. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the oddly satisfying pleasure of watching things fall apart exactly as they were meant to. Without further ado, here are the top 10 impressing buildings and infrastructures demolitions in the world. Number 10. Kingdom. Seattle One of the most famous Seattle buildings ever, the Kingdom didn't have a long lifespan before it met its explosive fate. Built in 1976, the laboriously named King County Multipurpose Dome Stadium housed the Seahawks, Mariners, and plenty of other events until closed in 2000, thanks in large part to its failing and falling roof tiles. The stadium's March 2000 implosion was the largest building ever demolished by implosion up to that time, with a volume of nearly 700,000 cubic feet. Number 9. K-25 Tennessee built as part of the Manhattan Project in 1943, the K-25 Gaseous Diffusion Building at the East Tennessee Technology Park once stood as the world's largest building under one roof. In 2013, the Department of Energy finished a years-long demolition process that started in 2008, the largest the organization had ever undertaken. Unlike most demolished structures however, K-25 lives on in the form of a three-story scale representation of the demolished building which holds authentic equipment from the historic building. Number 8. AFE Tower. Germany at 381 feet tall, the 1972 built AFE Tower became the tallest building to ever be demolished using explosives when it came down in Frankfurt, Germany, in 2014. The 50,000 ton skyscraper in the heart of the city attracted over 10,000 onlookers on explosion day, and a wall up to 20 feet high ran around the site to help stop any potential flying debris. Number 7. Zhuanyang Viaduct. China two miles worth of concrete blew up in unison in 2013. Built in 1997, the viaduct in the Chinese city of Wuhan needed a precision blast to end its 15-year life. Wires carrying 100,000 volts ran alongside the bridge and a gas pipeline underneath it to trigger explosives in sequence. In the end, the concrete all fell as planned, leaving room for crews to erect an even larger viaduct in its place. Number 6. J.L. Hudson Company. Detroit The J.L. Hudson Company started in 1881 and by the early 1960s, its flagship downtown Detroit store took up an entire city block at 2.2 million square feet. The building was the tallest department store in the world at 26 stories or 439 feet. But department stores aren't quite what they once were and explosives brought down the structure in 1998 just ahead of the company itself going under. When felled, Hudson became the tallest building ever imploded and the largest single building imploded. Number 5. Glines Canyon Dam. Washington at 210 feet tall, the Glines Canyon Dam on Washington's Elwa River was the largest dam demolition ever. Built in 1927 and removed for good in 2014, it took a combination of excavators chipping away at the top of the dam layer by layer, and then some good old detonation. As crews reached the lower portion of the concrete structure, they sped up the removal process by bringing in explosives, using a series of blasts to finish off what was the Glines Canyon Dam. Number 4. Bow Valley Medical Center. Calgary The Bow Valley Medical Center in Calgary, Alberta, may not have been the tallest set of buildings on this list, but it takes a lot of confidence to blow up 20 concrete structures simultaneously, bringing down an entire complex at once, especially when that complex is in a residential neighborhood. At demolition time in 2007, the public turned up in big numbers to see this boom. It was delayed 20 minutes because of the crowd, including several hot air balloons that swept into the airspace over the center. Number 3. Grand Prince Hotel Akasaka, Tokyo A design of Japanese architect Kenzo Tange, the hotel was well known for its distinctive sawtoothed facade of aluminum and glass. Following closure, it became notable for being deconstructed in a top-down approach, 
the building appears to shrink in height over time. The demolition of Tokyo's Grand Prince Hotel Akasaka in 2013 was unique in that it didn't involve wrecking balls or explosives. A crane was used to take out all the beams, concrete, and paneling from the inside, floor by floor. It made way for Tokyo Garden Terrace Kyocho Kiyoi Tower and Kiyoi Residence. That's a very unusual way to drop down a building like this. Number 2. One Meridian Plaza Philadelphia One Meridian Plaza was a 38-story high-rise office building in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, United States. The 492-foot, 150-meter tower was designed by Vincent Kling and Associates and completed in 1972. The building was demolished in 1999 as a result of damage from a fire that began on February 23, 1991. The fire lasted over 19 hours, destroyed eight floors, killed three firefighters, and injured 24. It was demolished in 1999 after sitting vacant for eight years. It has now been replaced by the Ritz-Carlton. Number 1. The UIC Building Singapore The UIC Building, United Industrial Corporation Limited Building, was a 40-story, 152M skyscraper in the city-state of Singapore. The tower was completed in 1973, and it was the 39th tallest building in Singapore, tied in rank with Chevron House, Meritus Mandarin Singapore Tower 2, and 1 Marina Boulevard. At the time of its 1973 completion, the UIC building was the tallest structure in the city-state, and one of the tallest buildings in Southeast Asia. It retained the former title for only one year, as the 162M United Overseas Bank Plaza 2 was completed in 1974. The building was demolished in 2013 to make way for Vion Shandon, a 54-story mixed residential and commercial tower. That's all for today, I hope you learned a lot through this video, hit the like button if you enjoyed this content. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here and you want more. Thanks for watching, I will see you in the next video.